It's 2.10 p.m. here in Seoul. I'm Yoon Jung-min at the Arirang News Center. We're breaking into our regular programming for a live briefing from the South Korean health authorities on the coronavirus outbreak. The briefing is just about to start. Have a look. Uh, let us go over our domestic uh, briefing. As of today midnight, we have a total of 345 new local infections and a total of 17 new imported cases. And the current uh, total case though now stands at 83,199. Currently, we still have 8,405.58 people remaining in quarantine, and there are 157 patients with critical or severe conditions, which is down by four from the day before, and we had seven additional fatalities. I extend my deepest condolences to the deceased and the members of the bereaved families. And let's uh, as go through our uh, domestic updates. And we have a total of 345 new local infections, 257 were reported in the capital area, and 88 in the non-metropolitan area, 28 in Chungcheong province, 8 in Honam province, and 18 in Gyeongnam province, uh, and Gyeongbu province, and 32 in Gyeongnam province, and also we had no case in Jeju Island. And by region, here are some details. Uh, first of all, starting from the metropolitan area in Seoul's Kurugu district in relation to a sports uh, facility, we had the first index case on the 9th of February. We have 13 additional patients, increasing the total to 14 so far. And in Seoul, Songbuku district in relation to a sports facility, we had the first index case identified on the 9th of this month. We have 14 additional patients, and in total, we have 15 confirmed patients to date. And in Seoul, Songdungu district, we have the University Hospital. We have three additional patients, increasing the total to a total of 98. And in Seoul's Yongsangu district, in relation to a social gathering, we have two additional patients being confirmed, and in total we have 57 cases being confirmed to date. And in Gyeonggi-do province, Ansan city, in relation to a manufacturing company and Islamic mosque, we have one additional patient, increasing the total to 25. And in Gyeonggi-do province, Goyang city, in relation to a ballroom dancing, we have a total of... 73 patients being uh, confirmed, and in Gangwon-do province, here are some details. In Cheolongun uh, County, in relation to a family gathering, we had the first index case identified on the 9th, and we have 10 additional patients, increasing the total to 11. And moving on to Chungcheong province, in relation to a Sejong city construction site, we had the first index case identified on the 6th of February. We have 10 additional patients, and in total, 11 have been confirmed firm to date. And in Tangjin City, in relation to a restaurant, we have the first index case identified on the 11th, and we have 11 additional patients, increasing the total to 11. And in uh, Chungbuk, Chungju City and Jeonbuk's Kimje City, in relation to a meat processing business, we have three additional patients, uh, raising the total to 68. And in Honam Province, in Gwangju City, in Pukgu District, in in relation to a second adult game room, we have five additional patients, increasing the total to 36. And in Gyeongbuk province, in Daegu's Pukgu district, in relation to an hospital, we had the first index case uh, identified on the 10th of February. We have five additional patients, raising the total to six. And in Daegu's Pukgu district, in relation to a family gathering, we have three additional patients, raising the total to 31. And in Gyeongnam province, in Busan City's Jungbu District, in relation to a care facility, we carried out a mass testing. We had also uh, eight additional patients being confirmed, and we have a total of 25 patients being confirmed to date. And in Jungbu District, we have the rehab hospital. We have three additional cases, and a total of 45 have been confirmed to date. And in Heundegu District, in relation to a care facility, we have two additional patients, raising the total to 20. 
2023. And in Busan's Sogu district, in relation to a port workers union, we also have 61 additional, uh, 61 total cases being confirmed to date. And lately, in relation to Putan cities, uh, Victory Altar, as well as a family uh, a gathering in Yongsan City, here are some details. As for the Victory Altar, we also see uh, many members um, and the uh, academy also and families. We have a total of 123 people being confirmed to date. One of the uh, major risk factors was that they did not wear face masks during their services. They had poor ventilation and also uh, bad sanita sanitary conditions at the restaurants as well as a lack of partitions. And moreover, inside the uh, Victory Altar, we also identified that uh, one of uh, the service member uh, who was a an, um, teacher, instructor at the private academy spread the uh, cluster infections. And in Seoul's Yongsangu district, in relation to a uh, uh, foreigner uh, meeting, we have seen uh, that the virus has spread uh, to various uh, facilities and a total of 55 people have been confirmed to date. And the major risk factor was the small gathering among uh, service members as well as um, uh, many other uh, gatherings indoors. And also we have seen uh, the attendance uh, these at the uh, religious facilities also uh, and spread of the virus also spread from that service to other facilities as well. And during the Lunar New Year holiday, uh, thanks to uh, the participation by the public, we were able to have a very safe uh, public holiday. However, we also have uh, some reports of violations and breaches uh, at our safety e-report, and here are some details. Uh, at, uh, mass, uh, at the markets or uh, the uh, department stores, uh, there were people who did not wear face masks properly, and they also had sample foods. Uh, as well as testings of the cosmetic products. And also while on the road, people did not wear face masks when they were on the buses or ferries or trains. And also they were, there were some people who had a, a dining uh, and consumption of food at the rest areas at the expressways. And also we have seen some uh, group package uh, tours uh, during uh, the holidays as well. And we have uh, many Many people uh, of the public, especially for um, who have taken part in the uh, quarantine measures, and we thank them once again. We ask for your continued participation going forward. And domestically, uh, here are some updates on the new variants. As of 13th, we have eight additional new variants being confirmed, and a total of 88 new variants have been confirmed here in South Korea. And out of these eight uh, new variants, all of them were imported cases. Five were the UK variant, while three were the South African variant, and also one were a foreigner. And Five, uh, three will have been reported at the points of entry, while uh, the rest of the five people have been tested positive when they were on self-quarantine. And we have seen uh, no local transmissions of such new variants. Uh, moreover, their immediate family members, and also we carried out four people who work uh, have who had immediate contacts, but all of them tested negative, and they are on self-quarantine. And now we are ending uh, the Lunar New Year holiday, and we will be uh, starting a new uh, new uh, our new daily routine start after uh, the Lunar New Year holidays. We will be having the rollout of the vaccines, and we ask for you to continue to exert a sense of uh, vigilance going forward. We will also uh, take uh, exert our utmost efforts. Thank you very much. That wraps up our coverage of the briefing this afternoon. Thank you for staying with us. We will be back with our regular newscast at 6 p.m. Korea time. Goodbye.